I can't recount how many times I modeled something and after I was done with it, I wish that I had ready-made materials or shaders that I could use. So today, I got you guys some new material libraries and shaders that you can use with your projects. This can be great to save time, speed up your workflow, and get some impressive results really quickly. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with a high quality material library called Blendshot by Artemis 3D. The Blendshot library is inspired by the renowned Keyshot render software. And if you are a Keyshot user, this one will make working with Blender very familiar down to every interface layout and because it comes with a dedicated layout to mimic Keyshot. But what we want here is the material library and I can confirm that all the materials are all of high quality and it comes with more than 600 fully procedural materials divided into a ton of categories like metal, fabric, plastic, glass, stone and wood and other things like packaging, liquid, clothes, pattern light, and so much more. If you want to grab this library, it will set you back 40 bucks with free future updates and at the time of writing this video, the library is on a 20% discount until the 31st, so if you want to check it out, you will find the links in the description. The next one is not a whole library because it is just one thing, but it is really good. And this is a procedural ice shader created by CG Matter. If you ever looked up any Blender tutorials on YouTube, you probably came across this guy. He makes top tier Blender tutorials, but for some reason, every video he makes, I feel like he's getting crazier. Or maybe it is just the mustache. Anyways, this ice shader is fully procedural and packs a ton of details fully customizable and does not require any UVs and the good thing is that you can get it for only one buck. So if you are making a scene or maybe a commercial where you need high quality ice shaders, I feel this one is gonna be a great fit. Around the same topic we have another great procedural hyper realistic glass shader by Ryan King who is one of the best content creators when it comes to creating materials in Blender. He created more than 150 videos breaking down exactly how you can create all sorts of procedural materials inside Blender for free. And this glass material is no different. You can check his Blender market page where you can grab this for 2 bucks. But he has also a tutorial on how you can exactly do that for free. I mean you make it from scratch. That being said, the glass shader looks really good, and if you ever dealt with a glass material before where it doesn't behave realistically, like sometimes the reflection isn't strong enough, or it has dark spots, or maybe it has a weird distortion going on. We have all been there, and this glass shader looks absolutely stunning. On top of that, it offers a ton of controls like adding cracks, more noise, wrapping, smudges, and a lot more. The next one called Node Effects is even more interesting. This is a procedural shader library which offers so much control over each procedural shader preset and that's not to say it has less quality. The materials here are meticulously designed to be able to get those close-up shots easily. So on top of the high quality shaders, you have a dedicated add-on interface with highly customizable sliders over each material parameter. The add-on is also compatible with the Blender Assets browser, and it has the ability to keyframe material properties. On top of that, the add-on comes shipped with various effects and masks things like rust, moss, dust, holographic projection, fire, lava, and so on. You can get all of this for 12 bucks, and at the moment, there is a 25% discount, so we can even grab it for less. The next one might be a little bit gross, but hear me out. Principal Organic Material is a collection of 7 procedural and of course highly customizable organic shaders that look all disgusting and alive at the same time. This actually reminded me of the planet Zen from Half-Life which is an organic alien planet that feels alive. And speaking of alien planets, these shaders are created to be used for science fiction projects like Alien Axe-Axe, Decaying Flash, Infected Wounds and the whole 9 yards. When you make an alien scene as you do, there has to be aliens. Aliens create eggs and eggs need egg sacs, so we will need this shader. 
Jokes aside, these shaders are extremely detailed, and I know I sound like a broken record by now, but you can customize them to your heart's content. They are designed to be used with cycles, and that's when you can see real displacement and deformation, but you can still use them with EV, and the only drawback is that you're gonna sacrifice the real displacement. Also, you might need a decent GPU to be able to render these shaders, but I guess this goes without saying. And if you didn't get enough of the organic shader, we got more. Here's a collection of procedural raw flash materials by Thomas Correa. This one is focused more on creating realistic materials like open wounds, organic tissue, brain tissue, and so on. But also can be used for zombies, monsters, aliens, and more. The shaders work with both Cycles and EV, and offers a ton, you guessed it, control over color, saturation, surface details, bump, bump strength, and so on. And because I don't want to end the video with the alien stuff, let's finish things off with something awesome like this procedural marble shader. This marble shader works with both EV and Cycles, and comes with more than 90 tweakable parameters, and it is also shipped with 12 marble presets covering the main marble types and it is compatible with Blender Asset Browser so you can create your own preset library and it offers control over fine grain, ridges and spackles just to name few things. It also has aging and decay parameters with dynamic roughness, subsurface based on aging and a ton more with only 5 bucks. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these materials, material libraries or shaders, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.